Hey there. My name is Taylor Forsberg. My teammates are Matt Schur, MB Kang, and Ashlyn Bonner. For the Urban Single Family Housing Competition, my group is proposing a series of accessory dwelling units along a revitalized greenway. The project is named the Camino Verde and is located in one of the historic neighborhoods of Tucson, Arizona. The primary goals of our solar decathlon design project are to one, design homes that reflect the desert building tradition in the Southwest. Taking inspiration from architecture that was designed before the invention of air conditioning helps us think about dwelling using passive strategies for human comfort. Goal number two is to make a low carbon and zero energy building. It is vital that we're doing our best to use low impact materials and not using fossil fuels for energy needs. Number three is to deconcentrate poverty with affordable housing and the neighborhood of Menlo Park. We're gonna do the right thing by making quality homes for people who need it the most. These goals we have mentioned are in response to the design restraints specific to our site. There's a long history of building in this climate that lends itself to certain materials and strategies. It immediately became important to us to focus on place when designing our units. Low carbon and zero energy buildings are important, one, for the competition, but also it is vital to design for a more sustainable future for Tucson. The hot summers and temperature swings Tucson is known for makes this especially important. Lastly, in comparison to national averages, Menlo Park is in great need of affordable homes for families. Our aim is to provide this with these informal and efficient living units. Our design goals translate into the 10 design narratives. Each of these categories helps us support and achieve our top three goals for this project. Some initial sketches pictured here show how we started working with passive design strategies such as earth sheltering, thermal mass, and natural ventilation from the beginning of our design process. This developed our strategies for achieving zero energy ready goals via things like our solar pergolas that help to draw the neighborhood together with more public views and interactions and other things like buffalo grass insulation. Also shown is an initial sketch of our connective greenway alley system. The greenway alley system is something that stemmed from necessity. Heavy monsoon rains in Tucson put homes at risk of flooding that do not have proper water retention. The greenway will use simple subtraction of material to create retention areas, shown in blue, which will promote vegetation growth, which will in turn create more walkable, shaded, and connective spaces. The different ADU designs begin with the smallest Rincon floor plan. This is a studio layout that offers a simple but efficient floor plan. The Rincon is great for young or older people whose budget may be smaller but still want a home that they will love. The Rincon may be on the smaller side, but through our innovative panelized design, users will be able to expand their floor plan out modularly as time goes by if they would like to. Our Catalina floor plan is simply the Rincon with an added bedroom. The idea behind this expansion is that an owner of the Rincon may want a little more space, access to use of the roof for gardening and recreation, and even a rainwater catchment system for their developing vegetation or for use in the home. Our panels are meant to be removable for reuse in this expansion, making for a cost-effective way to expand their home. The largest, or Santa Rita floor plan, makes the addition of a supplementary bedroom. The drawings show the possibility of, of a rooftop solar pergola that makes the rooftop space even more usable and energy costs even more affordable. The Santa Rita is a culmination of all the phases of development and like the other plans, a truly passive design. The Santa Rita is suitable for small families looking for a home that grows with their family or owners looking to increase supplemental income. This, so this floor plan, like the others, features operational windows and large doors on both sides to allow for passive cooling for much of the year, all while featuring our innovative buffalo grass panels that keeps the heat out in the hotter months. This project looks to welcome all to the community by providing affordable living options and accessible units for all. The sense of community is enforced in the greenway system placed in the utility easements behind the houses. While scenic greenway paths are not unusual to Tucson, 
The system will provide the neighborhood with a communal garden, a place to exercise cycling and pedestrian transportation routes. When considering the occupant's quality of living, the ADUs will provide options for elderly and or disabled people to live more comfortably by providing ADA accessible units, handrails, and curb flooring. These options, while mainly directed towards the elderly and or disabled individuals, create ease of access for everyone and can greatly improve the living experience. Cost considerations are also important, and in an effort to reduce the cost of living, solar panels and energy efficient appliances and lighting significantly reduce the amount on the electric bill, while water retention reduces the amount on the water bill. These systems are also able to be monitored and controlled by phone or tablet. These cost reductions allow the occupants to apply their earnings to other financial needs and can greatly reduce stress and anxiety. The indoor environmental quality is managed by controlling the air temperature and radiant temperature. The air quality and temperature are managed by using passive strategies that stem from the layout of the building along with the HVAC system that lies within the structural layer of the ceiling trusses. The selective use of natural materials, such as the clay plaster interior finish, also enhance the environmental quality of the building by acting as a natural humidity regulator. The radiant temperature is managed by the eco-cocoon T-panels, which inherently have thermal mass capacities due to their thickness and integrated layers. An inclusion of a phase change material increases its thermal storage abilities, thus added in the panels when needed. Towards the bottom of the slide, the jump duct is highlighted. The inclusion of these small isolated ducts will allow air from one room to be drawn to the other, even when the door is closed allowing for consistent acoustical separation without compromising the air quality. The embodied environmental impact was considered from the very beginning of the design phase. Choosing natural materials and using as much of them in their raw state was the principal idea that we started with. The life cycle assessment, shortened as LCA, was the most straightforward way of analyzing the actual impact that the chosen materials have on the environment from cradle to grave. When looking at the stages of a traditional LCA model, we realized that Camino Verde could apply a more dynamic model that does not follow the stages in the given way. With the development of a prefabrication site within a close vicinity, along with using materials that are either extracted locally in the city or distributed within the state, the manufacturing and transportation stages would be minimized to lower the building's overall impact on the environment. Since materials such as beetle kill timber and buffalo grass are to be manufactured into eco cocoon T panels in their extracted state, the energy consumption stage, which follows the extraction stage, would either be non existent or minimized, lowering the carbon impact again. A circular economy of reduce, repair, recycle is emphasized and achieved. The details of how we strive to achieve each component is shown on page 13 of the design narrative. Since the eco cocoon T panels insulation abilities are intrinsically effective, unnatural materials typically used to heighten the building's capacity will be included to a minimum. Trade-offs are minimal, but considering the cost, durability, and ease of maintenance, certain building components such as vinyl frame windows were chosen over a wooden frame window due to its cost effectiveness that is up to 50% and its durability when exposed to the harsh Tucson sun. When using concrete for a more durable foundation, we will minimize the environmental trade-off by using sand made from recycled glass going back to the idea of recycling in the circular economy. Our team decided to use the FIAS 2021 Performance Criteria Calculator to assign energy performance targets for the Camino Verde ADUs. We took on this challenge because of the climate specific and small square footage passive building goals. We designed our building assemblies based on the smallest ADU because it is the most difficult to get to reach the FIAS energy targets. We assume our assemblies will work for the other designs because it works for the Rincon ADU. 
We tested the building in Woofie to prove our design meets the expected targets. And the check marks show it did. To office, offset source energy consumption, the complete design includes a solar PV array on the roof pergola. The energy produced from the two kilowatt system offsets source energy and the excess can be sold back to the grid or support the sunblock loop. So how did we achieve these performance goals? First, we optimized our building layers compared to the Tucson code standards in order to achieve our energy targets. Next, we chose a ERV to manage ventilation to ASHRAE standards for balanced ventilation in each ADU. This gets rid of odors, particulate matter, and provides fresh air for occupants. To cool down from the Arizona heat, an air to water heat pump was chosen for efficiency and to integrate with the sunblock loop. The cooling and heating is supplied through efficient ductless fan coil units. The structure for the ADUs consists of panelized walls and a wood truss roof. The walls utilize the invasive plant, buffalo grass, as insulation, and although buffalo grass has not been extensively used in construction, straw, which is similar, has been tested and used for insulation purposes. Both options offer a sustainable and renewable option for insulating that is localized to Tucson, thus reducing the total carbon emissions. The roof will make use of clay plaster while also consisting of a wooden truss with EPS for insulation, all cladded in tile roof papers. The design of the ADUs allows for southern and northern light to enter into the common areas, while east and western light enters the private spaces such as bedrooms and bathrooms. The windows are elongated to reach close to the ceiling, allowing for deeper sunlight penetration. The lighting system uses an inboard outboard control panel with LED lights to help reduce the amount of energy usage when the lighting systems are on. The ADUs make use of storing rainwater and gray water for flushing toilets, irrigation, and sunblock thermal energy storage. This will help to reduce the usage of water supplied by Tucson, and by having native vegetation, there will be reduced water runoff. Upon researching the Menlo Park area, our group found some interesting data. With the high rate of single parenthood in family households, we began to search for ways to help some of the cons that may come along with single parenthood, as well as proposing ways to improve the neighborhood. We found a seemingly win-win situation with the building of ADUs on existing properties. By building new attached dwelling units in the backyards of existing homes, we could create the opportunity for multi-generational housing arrangements in which the parent or parents of single mothers or fathers could live in the new ADUs and in turn help with the day-to-day -day lives of the children growing up with a single parent. While the benefits are clear for the children, benefits may also come to the grandparents who will maintain a more fulfilling and even independent life. Our hopes for positive change in the neighborhood continue with the development of the Greenway Alley system, which will tie the neighborhood together via currently underutilized space. Overall, the ADUs began with the aim of helping single parents and the elder generation, but continue to young professionals, small business owners, and even the ability to bring in extra income by renting ADUs out to anyone looking for a vegetated and community-involved home. There are many ways we strive towards affordability within our ADU designs. Beginning with the use of buffalo grass in our panels, we hope to incentivize its collection due to its large availability and no known current market uses. By prefabricating at the nearby Barrio Oeste site, we will incentivize the bulk buying of building materials that will lower costs all while lowering emissions caused by transportation. The thick panel walls will also create long-term lower costs by making thermal comfort easier and more efficient to achieve. Here in Tucson, we don't typically get much rain to begin with. However, recently Tucson has been receiving less and less rain. This has and will continue to take a toll on the wildlife, plant life, and community of Tucson. Much of the infrastructure was also designed around the notion that Tucson does not receive enough water for flooding to be considered an issue. Unfortunately, while Tucson does severely lack water throughout most parts of the year, 
We do have moments of sporadic rainfall during the monsoon and early spring seasons, which tend to flood the streets. Along with these water issues, Tucson is hot, with temperatures in the summer often rising well into the 110s by the afternoon. Most of the native plants are capable of withstanding such high temperatures and long periods without water. However, as the population continues to grow, the need for water and proper cooling techniques is not just a luxury, but a necessity. Fires throughout Arizona are also becoming a major issue. The amount and sizes of fires in the state have been rapidly growing since the 1970s, with the major Bighorn Fire burning in the Santa Catalina Mountains just north of Tucson last summer. These fires are perpetuated by the buffalo grass plant, which was brought from Africa to Arizona in the 1930s to help with erosion control. The plant eventually got out of hand and spread throughout most of Arizona, now acting as fuel for fires. Our project seeks to address these major issues in Tucson by designing with water retention in mind. The ADUs will collect water from the rooftop, where the water will then be stored in a cistern before going through a sand filtration system. After the water is filtered, the water is then stored in another cistern to be used for watering plants and flushing toilets. Rainwater collection stops the water from running into the streets and increasing the flooding issues in the neighborhood as well. The ADUs also take advantage of the large amounts of sunlight by using solar panels to help power the ADUs, while any excess energy can go towards the grid. This not only creates a more carbon-neutral building, but also helps to keep energy bills low for the occupants. To address the high heat and fire issues, the ADUs also seek to use buffalo grass as insulation, which will help to eradicate the plant while also providing a local and sustainable material. When discussing the integrated performance of the ADU buildings, the Eco Cocoon T panel assembly itself was the ultimate interdisciplinary solution in the building subsystems. With Tucson having a significant temperature difference between day and night, it was crucial to have a deliberate envelope design that would adapt and react to the temperature changes. Compared to a typical two by four wall assembly comprised of concrete and mineral wool, with an R value of 13, Eco Cocoon T panels are comprised of a high percentage of natural materials which perform superiorly with an R value of 44. Renewable energy systems such as the rooftop solar armada and passive design strategies such as overhangs and a building layout allowing for cross ventilation were integrated into the design to increase the performance of the building. Wooden trusses were chosen as the structural components for the roof, not only for their structural capacities, but also to provide a flexible space for the space conditioning system to be integrated in. Operable windows and doors on every side of the building not only allows for cross ventilation, but also for sunlight to enter through those ample openings. With the amount of sun Tucson gets each day, the building will have enough lighting with the daylight but energy efficient electric lighting will be installed for user preference, further detailed in the engineering highlight. To conclude, we'd like to show you some design renderings of what the ADU and Camino Verde would look like in the Menlo Park neighborhood. On the behalf of my group and myself, I'd like to thank you for listening in to our presentation and proposal for the Solar Decathlon Design Competition. Thank you.